The, the good news, I guess, amongst all of this, if there is any, of course, we know that uh, many people have lost their lives as the tsunami came on shore in Western Samoa. But it was a large, large earthquake. This one, 33 kilometers deep, 8.3 magnitude. As I say, all the warnings, all the watches have now been dropped. Four villages, though, were inundated. Uh, the waves are reported to be as high as five meters as a tsunami wave actually came on shore. You can see the whole area, of course, this particular part of the ocean, the Pacific, is absolutely littered with lots and lots of tiny little islands, which is why the, why the, why the uh, tsunami warnings were so very widespread. Now, what the Tsunami Warning Center says is they issue these bulletins, but it's then they issue the data to the local authorities. So it's the local authorities in the area that are responsible for getting the information, obviously, to their people. Now, it actually happened 0648 a.m. local time. So if you're just waking up, this is obviously real news for you. There was one big earthquake, and then there have been a lot of aftershakes. And indeed, uh, some of these aftershocks have also been pretty uh, high. You can see some of the magnitude there, over five in many, many cases. The uh, sea level readings are what indicate the tsunami has actually been generated. And of course, what happens is coastal areas are first at threat. But once the threat has been issued or the warnings have been issued, if no big waves have been seen for two hours, then it is safe to assume, according to the Tsunami Warning Center, that the threat has indeed gone by. But even having said all this, there is still a danger out there to all uh, sea craft in the area, even though uh, the islands are not now under threat. The waves are obviously very, very high, but this is the final bulletin that the Tsunami Warning Center has issued.